We're following up on a story we first brought you as breaking news last night at 11, a double shooting in Chesapeake. One person is dead, another seriously hurt. It was about 9.30 in the 700 block of Nottaway Drive, and that's where we find our David Culver this morning, who joined us now with the latest on this investigation. David, good morning. Carrie and Don, good morning to you. Behind me, you can see a few squad cars still out here. In fact, just a few minutes ago, I saw some forensic investigators going in and out of the house, leaving with large paper bags. They have wrapped up what it seems to be their on-scene investigation. But this all came in, actually, as a burglary call. And before officers even got on scene, it was upgraded to a double shooting. Let's take you back to yesterday evening. Police swarmed this complex, the Nells Ridge Townhomes area. Officers found one person shot to death inside the home where that burglary was supposedly happening. Emergency crews took another person to the hospital. We're told their injuries are not life-threatening. Now, we spoke with the woman who lives right next door to the home where this burglary supposedly happened. She told us she heard the screams and struggle. I was awakened to the screams about 9.30 last night, and um, it was screaming and a lot of noise on the steps, like somebody was running, uh, being chased or something. I could hear a man's voice, you know, people yelling or whatever. So it just it woke me up, it scared me to death, and jumped up immediately, grabbed my phone. But I couldn't even dial anything because I, you know, I was just so nervous. Um, then uh, next thing I know, the whole neighborhood was just surrounded with cops and everything. Yeah, frightening to be right next door to the home where everything was happening. Meanwhile, this morning, Chesapeake Police on the lookout for two men that they are calling suspects in this case. If you know anything about their whereabouts, you're asked to call Crime Line at the number you see on your screen, 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Carrie, meanwhile, that one neighbor also told us that those living inside the home were a mother, a father, and their young child. All right, terrible to think that a child may have seen or heard or been involved in something like this. And we do want to remind folks, David, when they call the crime line, they do not have to give their name. And that's, that's through the point. whole process. Absolutely. All right, David, thanks very much. We'll get an update from you a little later this morning.